Welcome in this video about the minimax algorithm with alpha beta pruning. Uh, in my previous video, I implemented the minimax algorithm in Python. On this time, we are going to uh, add the alpha beta pruning, which will make the uh, algorithm much more efficient in terms of uh, speed. So let's dive into the implementation. Like in my previous video, we'll start from the pseudocode from Wikipedia, and we will uh, convert this code to Python code that will be straightforward and we will have a code that is very efficient and that will be only a few lines of code. So we can start by implementing the minimax algorithm. Um, so we take uh, the, a node as in last time, as in the previous video, uh, the depth to which we want, uh, the depth we want to reach with the algorithm. Uh, we need to give a flag that say if we are maximizing or min minimizing the score of the game on now we add the alpha on the beta values. By default, alpha is equal to minus infinity and beta is equal to infinity. So we have uh, uh, an API that is very similar to the one from the uh, pseudocode. We've called the node game state in our implementation. Uh, that's a choice we could have called that node as well. So the first thing to do is to check if the depth is equal to zero or if the node is a terminal node. And if so, we need to return the score of this node. So let's do that into, uh, in our implementation. So we uh, make those two checks, if the depth is equal to zero, if the game uh, state, if the node is terminal, and then we return the score of this uh, node. We also return another value, none. Uh, I will come to that in a moment. So now we can uh, uh, check if we, are, uh, if we need to maximize the score. If so, we set, uh, we set the value to minus infinity by default and then we get all the moves we can do from a, uh, from a given node, from a game state. Uh, once we have those moves, once we know all the moves we can do, uh, those moves we can execute them to uh, get a child node. So basically I can iterate over all the moves that are possible and I can get uh, a new game state by uh, calling this get new state function. So basically I will execute a move in my game to get a new uh, game state, a new node, a, new, uh, a child. So basically everything I'm doing there, I'm basically executing this loop from uh, the pseudocode. I'm iterating over each, each child, so each node I can reach from a given node. And now I can call the minimax algorithm recursively. Um, so now I need to set maximizing player to false because I'm, uh, I'm maximizing at this layer. So in the next layer, I will need to do minimization. So uh, let's do that. We call the minimax algorithm recursively. Uh, we uh, decrease the depth by one, we set uh, the maximizing flag to false, and we um, uh, we give alpha on beta. Uh, so we, we, we just give them as is, we, does, we do not need to modify them. Uh, so we get the TMP, so the value uh, returned by the minimax algorithm, as well as the best move, but we don't need to use it for now. Um, so we, we, d we, don't, uh, we don't get it. Um, but again, I will come to that in a moment about this second, uh, second uh, value that we return. So the first thing we do, we check if the, uh, if the value returned by the minimax algorithm is greater than the uh, current best value, so value. If so, we update value, we found uh, a move that was better than the uh, previous best move, and we can update uh, the best movement. So we say best movement is equal to move. And now, so all this was very uh, similar to just the minimax algorithm that we implemented in our previous video. But uh, now we need to add those three lines of code. If the value is greater recall than, than beta, we can stop uh, the um, we, we can stop uh, our for loop because uh, we know that. Um, so so I will not explain the algorithm in detail. Uh, I have a course about it uh, on Udemy. If you want, I will put the link in the description. But basically, this means that we uh, um, e uh, that all the nodes uh, that uh, that can still be explored, even if we find a node that is better than the uh, if we, even if we, if we find a move that is better than the best movement, uh, due to the uh, algorithm, it will never be chosen um, because the minimizing player will never uh, reach this uh, this branch of the tree. So if we have a value that is greater or equal than beta, we can stop iterating because we know that uh, even if we find a better move, it will never be chosen. So we can break and then we can update alpha. Alpha is equal to the maximum value between the current value of alpha and the value um, that is uh, updated uh, at each loop. So this is when you are maximizing. 
Now, if I'm minimizing, this is very uh, similar, but this is the uh, this is just the opposite. So this time we set the value to infinity instead of minus infinity, and then again we iterate over all the child nodes from the current node, and we call the minimax algorithm recursively. So this time we set we need to set um, maximizing a player to, to true because we are minimizing. So in the next layer we'll do a maximization, uh, and if the um, if the value returned by the minimax algorithm is lower than the current value, that means that the, that for the minimizing player, this is a better move. So we update the value and we update the best movement. And now we can do the, those three lines that are related to the alpha beta pruning. So if the value is lower or equal to alpha this time, so uh, when you are doing a maximization, we uh, check for beta and the value needs to be greater, greater or equal. When we are doing a minimization, minimization, we check alpha and the value should be lower or equal. And then we can update beta, that should be uh, the minimum value between beta and value. And then we can return the value. Uh, so the value will uh, tell us the score that we can reach with the, if we uh, play the best move. But we also want to get the best movement. Uh, if we call the algorithm and that, that the algorithm does not give us the best movement, it's a bit useless. So we also return the best movement. And that's why uh, in this um, uh, uh, in this very first instruction, we also return none because we are at a leaf node. With um, we at, at this point there is no moves uh, yet involved, but at at other layers there are, uh, the notion of movement, and we also need to return the best movement. So this is not uh, ex uh, this is not included in the pseudocode. So we uh, only needed to to make this very uh, tiny modification so that the algorithm also return uh, the best movement. But that's very easy to do. So now we have a very generic implementation. Uh, you just need to feed it uh, a class, a game state that has all those function calls. That means that you can uh, create a wrapper on top of your game. Uh, so that you can feed uh, your uh, the nodes of your game into this algorithm and it will work properly and very efficiently. We can uh, test our algorithm. We can uh, test it on the tic-tac-toe game. So I've imported this game state. I will uh, provide the link in the uh, description. But uh, although this game state implements the tic-tac-toe uh, game, you can modify it so that it uh, implements any game you want. For example, let's say you have a game of chess. You can create a game state class that will have all those function calls and the algorithm will work on the uh, game of chess and this is something i, I did um, for another project so okay we can create a game state for the uh, game of tic-tac-toe so for this we need to provide a, a, a board state so a grid of size three by three on uh, the uh, the players that plays the o's will start and then while the game is not done we uh, call the minimax algorithm with alpha beta pruning uh, so that uh, to tell us what is the best move to do and basically the uh, the algorithm will play against itself um, so uh, first the O will play then the X uh, and so on and so forth at, uh, at each iteration we print the movement that was chosen um, and at the very end we, play, uh, we print the winner of the game uh, so the algorithm will play against itself you can of course modify the, co uh, the code so that you play against the algorithm um, if you go back to my previous video and you uh, run uh, the code from the previous video, you will see that it's much slower than this implementation because now the alpha beta pruning makes it much more uh, faster. So I really hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, if it was, please leave the thumbs up. It really helps with this channel and subscribe for more videos about uh, AI and machine learning. Thank you.